In 1900, Greek sponge divers, seeking shelter from a storm, anchored near Antikythera. When the sea calmed, they dove into the unknown waters. One diver, Elias Stadiatis, surfaced in shock, claiming to have seen a heap of bodies on the seabed. The captain, Demetrios Kontos, dove to investigate and returned with a bronze arm from a statue. They had discovered an ancient Roman shipwreck, lost for two millennia. Over the next year, divers and archaeologists recovered stunning bronze and marble statues, glassware, and jewelry. Among the treasures was a corroded lump of bronze and wood, overlooked for months. In May 1902, archaeologist Valerio Stais noticed the lump had split open, revealing gear wheels inside. Stais was astonished. Such clockwork was not thought to exist in the ancient world. Many dismissed his idea that it was an astronomical clock, believing it too complex to be ancient. This object became known as the Antikythera Mechanism, the world's first analog computer. Its discovery shattered assumptions about ancient Greek technology. The device proved the Greeks possessed mechanical and astronomical knowledge lost for over a thousand years. It was a testament to a forgotten era of scientific genius. The Antikythera mechanism challenged our understanding of history and human innovation. It was a single surviving example of a technology historians never imagined existed. The story of this object would forever change our perception of the ancient world. What lay inside this corroded lump would become one of the greatest mysteries in archaeology. The journey to unlock its secrets was just beginning. The Antikythera mechanism was far more than a clock. It was a mechanical calculator designed to predict the movements of the sun, moon, and planets. Housed in a wooden case, it featured dials on both front and back. Turning a side handle set the device to a specific date, activating at least 30 interlocking bronze gears. The front dial displayed the Greek zodiac and Egyptian calendar, with pointers for the sun, moon, and likely the five known planets. This allowed users to see celestial positions for any chosen date, vital for festivals, agriculture, and navigation. The back featured two spiral dials, one for the 235-month metonic cycle, reconciling solar and lunar calendars, and another for the sorrow cycle, predicting eclipses. It could even indicate the color of a lunar eclipse and track the timing of the Olympic Games. The mechanism was a scientific instrument and a social calendar for the Greek world. Its construction required mastery of astronomy, mathematics, and mechanics. The precision of its gears, some with millimeter-wide teeth, is astonishing even today. The Antikythera mechanism brought the cosmos to human scale, making the universe's rhythms tangible. It encoded advanced Greek astronomical theories into a beautiful, functional device. This was a portable model of the universe, centuries ahead of its time. The mechanism remains a marvel of ancient engineering. When recovered, the Antikythera mechanism was in pieces, 82 fragments, much of it lost to the sea. The largest, fragment A, held most surviving gears but the wooden case had rotted away. Crucially, the entire front section was missing, leaving the planetary display a mystery. Ancient astronomers knew planets moved in complex paths, including retrograde motion. Replicating this mechanically was a huge challenge. The device's fragments were covered in tiny worn Greek inscriptions, like a partial instruction manual. Only a fraction of the text survived, offering clues but no blueprint for the gears. Researchers had to guess how the planetary system worked, lacking the physical evidence. The missing front left the true genius of the mechanism hidden. For decades, historians puzzled over how the Greeks modeled planetary motion. The Antikythera mechanism was a tantalizing, incomplete puzzle. Its secrets remained locked away, waiting for a breakthrough. The challenge was to reconstruct what was lost and understand ancient genius. Understanding the Antikythera mechanism took generations of effort. Early 20th century scholars like Albert Rehm first identified it as an astronomical calculator, but technology limited their progress. In the 1970s, Derek de Sala Price used X-rays to map the internal gears, confirming the device tracked the sun and moon. His work established the mechanism's importance but left many questions unanswered. The real breakthrough came in the 2000s with the Antikythera Mechanism Research Project. Using high-resolution imaging and powerful CT scans, researchers created detailed 3D models of the fragments. They counted gear teeth, read more inscriptions, and reconstructed the back dials with stunning accuracy. Yet, the planetary gears for the front display were still missing. 
the CT scans confirmed the absence of these crucial parts, researchers had a perfect picture of what survived, but the heart of the mechanism, the planetary model, remained a mystery. The challenge was to bridge the gap between the surviving evidence and the lost engineering. Decades of detective work brought them closer, but the final piece was still out of reach. The next step would require a new kind of thinking. The search for answers was about to enter the digital age. The ancient puzzle demanded a modern solution. The world's oldest computer needed the world's newest technology. After a century of study, researchers faced a daunting gap, the missing planetary gear system. The surviving inscriptions described what the planets did, but not how the machine achieved it. The problem was too complex for trial and error. There were countless possible gear arrangements. Enter artificial intelligence. A team at University College London turned to computational modeling. They fed the AI all available data 3D scans, gear counts, fragment dimensions, and every deciphered inscription. The AI was programmed with ancient Greek astronomical rules and cycles. Its task act as an ancient engineer, designing a gear system to model the planets within the device's tight constraints. The design had to fit the available space, use period-appropriate technology, and match the astronomical cycles described in the text. The AI wasn't guessing. It was searching for a solution that fit all known evidence. This was a new way to approach an ancient mystery. The AI would attempt what no human could to reconstruct the lost heart of the Antikythera mechanism. The digital age was about to unlock the secrets of the ancient world. With all the data in place, the AI began its monumental task. It generated and tested thousands of mechanical designs, simulating gear sizes, tooth counts, and arrangements. Most failed too large, too inaccurate, or too complex. The AI learned from each failure, refining its approach. It rediscovered ancient techniques, like the pin and slot mechanism for variable motion and epicyclic gearing for planetary paths. Guided by the numbers in the inscriptions, the AI sought gear trains that matched the precise cycles of Venus and Saturn. After countless iterations, the AI produced a complete coherent model for the missing front section. The design was elegant, efficient, and fit perfectly within the surviving fragments. It used known Greek mechanical techniques and matched the astronomical descriptions. The AI had not just found a possible solution, it found the most likely and consistent one. The digital ghost of the ancient machine began to take shape. For the first time the lost heart of the Antikythera mechanism was revealed. The AI had bridged 2,000 years of lost knowledge. The ancient cosmos was reborn in bronze, virtually. The AI's model was stunning, a working reconstruction of the cosmos as the Greeks saw it. At the center was Earth, with rings for the Moon, Sun, and five planets all moving in complex, accurate paths. Turning the handle set the celestial bodies in motion, just as in the ancient sky. The design used compact, sophisticated epicyclic gears, far beyond what historians had imagined. The Venus system alone was a marvel of miniature engineering. The reconstruction proved the Greeks' mechanical and astronomical skill was even greater than believed. The mechanism was not a one-off invention but likely the product of a lost tradition of engineering. The AI's model confirmed the device was geocentric, reflecting mainstream Greek thought. The Antikythera mechanism was a machine built to display the scientific theory of its age. The AI's reconstruction forces us to rethink technological history. The Antikythera mechanism is no longer a strange anomaly, but evidence of a lost tradition of complex engineering. Such sophistication suggests earlier, simpler devices and workshops must have existed. But the so-called dark ages may have preserved this knowledge elsewhere, perhaps in the Byzantine or Islamic worlds. The mechanism could be the missing link between ancient genius and the Renaissance. The Greeks were not just philosophers and artists, they were master engineers. The Antikythera mechanism shows their theories became working reality. It reveals a society deeply engaged with technology and innovation. The ancient world was more modern than we ever imagined. The story of this device rewrites our understanding of the past. The Antikythera mechanism's reconstruction marks a new era for historical discovery. AI can now tackle puzzles once thought unsolvable deciphering lost scripts, reconstructing shattered artifacts, and modeling vanished architecture. By combining human expertise with AI, we can test theories and find solutions unimaginable before. The past is not a closed book, but a vast puzzle we are finally equipped to solve. The AI that rebuilt a 2,000-year-old computer may open the door to a new golden age of discovery. The story of the Antikythera mechanism is just the beginning. With new tools, we can bring lost worlds back to life. The future of history has never looked brighter.